If you think about that journey, um, it must have been lonely to to be bearing, you know, the, the the cost of all these things on your shoulder. Why did you not get a co-founder to share that? Um, <coughs> you know, at the very in the first year of the startup, I didn't wasn't I wasn't fully aware that it was a business. So I didn't really think of a need of a co-founder. It was kind of like let me figure out what to do with my swimming product. And then when it started becoming a business, I actually did have a conversation with someone that uh, I wanted as a co-founder. And then I realized that they didn't have the same passion I did for swimming. Mm -hmm. And they weren't able, or they didn't want to sacrifice the things I was uh, willing to sacrifice to make Instabi happen. Mm -hmm. And so I just didn't move forward with that partnership. And then I just kind of never met someone who would have fit the co-founder role, or at least the idealistic role I've had for a co-founder. Uh, and then as time passes, it became almost too late to call someone a co-founder.